All right. Hey, Leo. So, just give me one second. I'm going to light in my incense. Another one burnt all the way out. All right. Well, as I is doing that. Hey, guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming by and watching my video. I thank you guys so very much. And I'm just seeing the sun card wow, as I was going through here. Um, so thank you guys so much for your support. I truly appreciate all the support and love on my channel from all of you guys. Um, you know, because I just want to share my love and light with everybody. So I'm just sharing it with y'all through my readings. So I hope y'all enjoy them. Um, as I split this deck the first thing i have is crystals focus and childhood innocence so i feel like there are certain things from your past um that you need to focus on so you can heal and move forward from yes and then i'm also getting wake up calls so this could be something again tied to your childhood um that you still have not released or let go of and maybe you know you thought you did but you need to complete a cycle so in order to do that you need to just go ahead and reflect and do the work that is being called upon you all right but yeah definitely go with the flow as well um but i feel like for some of y'all you're completing out cycles for others of you you have started a new one um as well or you have gotten to a new level of self and then i'm also seeing completion with the purification so i feel like doing a purification bath um or doing like other purifying things is going to be very helpful um especially if it's something spiritual i'm seeing waterfall effortless so maybe for some of y'all that's being baptized or whatever if you're into the spiritual um more religious type of things i should say not spiritual anyways i'm gonna go ahead and pull a couple cards for you guys and then i'm gonna go ahead and read that pre channel message that i got for y'all um and if you guys do like the videos please make sure that you guys subscribe like share and comment um i will be doing a um appreciation giveaway um to you guys every hundred subscribers up until i get to my goal of a thousand um i'm gonna make sure that i'm gonna give giveaways to some very lucky special guests um and supporters um i'm not sure if i want to do 10 or 20 people yet so whatever it's still gonna be a lot of people so please make sure that um you guys are um subscribing please let anybody that you know also um let them know to subscribe as well um and check out my different types of videos i have creative videos um i have motivational monday videos that i'm here every monday live doing them at two o'clock so check those out if y'all want to come and join me um, i would love to have y'all come in and talk with me um as well i'm trying to open up a discussion more so in those comments so let me know what y'all think i'm also going to go live this weekend the 23rd so check that out as well you know all these updates <laughs> all these updates and, and whatnot um but yeah let me get into y'all reading all right let's say one more time i'm seeing submerged and emergence so yeah what is submerged is definitely going to come out and up and that's going to help you to move forward as well thank you god for those messages please help me to get four cards for leo first one cave sanctuary i feel like it's a great time for you to go within and do your inner work any other messages wow the full moon completion guys to complete out a cycle and start a new one that's crazy any other ones wow reflection yes you need to reflect on your past on yourself you also need to reflect on who you are as a person you need to know yourself um and also reflect on the things that you want and ask yourself why you want them wow last card is the rainbow blessings and underneath that is the ego communion so i feel like things are coming together um enlightenment or answers are coming into you as well um and there's a lot of light around you yes it's beautiful so far all right leo <laughs> i see y'all all right let me see let me read what message came out for you guys don't stop push yourself further Ooh, don't stop push yourself further so for some of y'all i feel like you may be at the place where you're feeling like giving up but you need to just keep pushing and pushing yourself further you know and that's gonna push you forward into what it is that you're really trying to accomplish period wow wow and as i say that as i split this deck expansion and perseverance yes you need to keep 
pushing forward and this is through your growth you may be going through a lot of growth right now or the dark night of the soul for some of you some of you have like you know been in this cocoon kind of like growing you know in your chrysalis and it can be hard to do the growth work and stuff but like i said i feel like enlightenment is definitely coming in like the answers you need are going to be within or going to come to you from a higher power mm. oh yes enlightenment and renewal yes new beginning new beginning for sure and you are starting a very new cycle absolutely absolutely and a lot of us are you know even the earth is going through some cycle changes right now as well you know and you can really tell um i feel like some of y'all have had guilt about certain things in the past i feel like you need to let that go move on and move forward um get forgiveness clarity i'm hearing like i heard gain forgiveness and clarity and that's what you need to do and also forgive yourself if that's what you need to do as well I'm also seeing renewal and mystery, so it's definitely going to be a mysterious change or a change that you didn't expect coming in. So it'll catch you by surprise, I heard. Like the changes, you know. In a good way, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Oh, just give me one second. I'll drink some tea. No. Sorry. I just ate. So I had corn. I'm stuck in my teeth. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Mm -hmm. My lovely, lovely team. All right. Oh, yes. Mysticism and destiny. So, yeah, what your destiny is, what your future is, is definitely a mystery. And it's unknown. And that's a beautiful thing because there's so much possibilities in the unknown. Like, there's so many different opportunities, right? Thank you, God, for those messages. Please help me to get some information. Whoa. Okay. For the Leos. Or this one that came out. Confusion. You may be confused about something and that's what you need to reflect on. Thank you, God. Any other messages? Passion. Um, okay. Follow what you're passionate about. Like, like I said earlier, reflect on what it is that you love to do, what you want to do, and ask yourself why. Any other messages? Thank you. Ooh. Joy. Yes, you're bringing in joy. And again, like I said, forgiveness. Whether this is forgiving yourself or forgiving someone else. Or you having to get forgiveness from someone else. Um, you know, like feeling like that's what you need to do to move on. Or to complete out something. Then I feel like you need to do it. Um, I feel like whatever else, um, there's a lot of joy. There's a lot of happiness and blessings coming in because of what you're passionate about. Wow, thank you, gosh. Wow. To that though faith having faith in the universe in mother earth um and the beautiful spirits and angels around you servicing the people around you as well helping people if you can and if you're able to please do help them and if you have been helping people throughout this pandemic thank you so much for all you're doing um and then the last card i have for you guys is balance so yeah you need to bring in some balance into your life and into yourself um and i feel like once you go within within this beautiful sanctuary do a lot of your reflection and really balance yourself out um by listening to your inner voice is what i heard by listening to your inner voice that's going to help you to bring in some balance and clarity as well all right yeah and this because this could be because of some type of guilt that you had again you need to forgive yourself or be um forgiven in a way for that and that could be simply by just apologizing you know what i mean Mm -hmm. Oh, so let me grab some clarifiers for you guys. Let me clarify some stuff. All right, yeah. Oh, blossoming abundance and walking away. So I feel like by you walking away from whatever it was that was imbalanced or having you in a place of feeling guilty, um, and once you've gotten forgiveness, you're walking away from the past, you're walking away from that confusion because of your reflections, um, and you're moving towards what it is you're passionate about, what you'd love to do towards your future and this happiness, I feel like that's going to bring in more blessings and abundance into your life, and that could be money and love, you know what I mean? Abundance in all forms, you know, it could be anything, anything, oh wow, and as I say that, 
Yes, walking away with the sun. Yes, so you're walking away from the past and you're going towards the sun because she's walking through a gate, you know what I mean? So she's walking towards her happiness. You're going towards your joy. What makes you happy? But you need to have faith in, in the journey. You need to have faith in the universe that you're going in the right direction. Yes. So with the sun and the world, that's beautiful. Um, I feel like, again, with the world card coming out, I feel like that's a completion of cycles. And that's um, also you beginning new ones. And same with that blessing being there. I feel like some of you guys are starting new cycles. And some of you guys are ending um, old cycles, you know, at the same time. Or some of you guys are in between cycles as well. And that's okay. Because what it is, you're, you're creating something and you're also being very protective of that. And that is okay. I feel like you have a lot of strength and you're able to do that. Alright? Thank you, God, for those messages that have come through for Leo. Please help me to get a few cards just to clarify. Give them some advice or insights. Thank you. Second chakra. Wow, she's come out a, a few times tonight. Miss Ariel. Hello, Ariel. Whoa. Whoa, mamacita. And as I say that, well, <laughs> look who made an appearance. The sixth chakra. I'm taking him to. Hey, boo. All right, I think both y'all. Because that's the only card that flipped on the floor. That's the only card that flipped on the floor. Alright, so you have action, appreciation, journey, man holding a heart, and the thinking man, and healer. So I feel like um, if you're a male watching this, and this could be you, um, I feel like there's a man who's thinking about offering love. You know, if this is you, you're thinking about offering love, taking that journey towards love. But you need to start with appreciation and self love first. And take that action towards loving yourself. And that's going to help you to also move forward and balance yourself out. And bring that love in that you're looking for. And vice versa. Um, you know, if you're a woman, you know, who is looking for love. And you want love to come in. It will. But I feel like you need to love yourself first. And really work on yourself first. To really attract that type of love that you truly do deserve. And I'm seeing community cards, so again, I feel like some of y'all service in the community are trying to find ways to do so. And that's amazing if you are doing that. Thank you. Any other messages? Whoa, mama. Alright, mama. It's too many, but we're going to go for it. Ooh, yeah, we're going for it. Yes. 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 Hold on. We'll stick her here. Keep them there. Yes. Yes, and yes. Okay, okay, let me get into this. So with the second chakra, Ariel, again, that is going back into balancing the higher and lower selves and trusting your inner guidance. That is what you're being called to do to really balance yourself out. And with the sixth chakra popping up, for some of you guys, this is definitely dealing with relationships, violence, and addictions because those are the key issues. Relationships, violence, and addictions. So yeah, again, like I said, you need to find that forgiveness in the relationship to move forward. And that's going to bring in a lot of happiness, I feel like, once you do so. Then, I have the door to value and the door to personal healing and happiness. Yes, once you balance yourself out, um, then you are going to be able to really heal yourself, have that happiness and love within, but also to really open up the door to more value to come into your life. Like I said, you're going to be attracting what it is that you truly want. But you need to have faith in what it is um, as well that you're trying to go after. You need to have faith in the universe and in God that you are going in the right direction. Even if you don't get what it is that you truly are thinking is what's best for you, you know that God is going to bring you what's best for you. Um, and then we have the patience card that came out. So yeah, you need to be patient with the process, be patient with things and how they're moving forward. And also be patient... If you are trying to help people or trying to get help for some of you, um, be patient with that as well. And then the last card, we have the Angel of Strength. Yes, be strong, stay strong, and balance yourself out. That's going to bring in a lot of strength into you as well. And a lot of blessings are coming in. And of course, with this lovely Leo sign with a lion right there. Yes, a lot of strength. And you know who else had that card? Um, Libra, and I just did their reading before yours. So check that out. And underneath that, we have contract and strategy. Woman holding a coin, blossom and abundance. Wow, and again, yin and yang, balancing yourself out. And don't try to overwork as well, because I'm seeing all tied up under that. So yeah, 
balancing yourself out, that's going to bring in blossom and abundance. Woman holding a coin. Money, again, the door to value being open up. But what you need to do is try to strategize and make things finalized with the contract card. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Awesome, awesome. Now I'm going to pull a couple cards just to wrap this up. And that has been an amazing reading for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please do check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising um, placements as well. And for you cross watches, please do that as well. Um, and if you'd like, please check out my uh, Motivational Monday videos that I have in my other playlist. Um, that Those aren't in intuitive. Um, those are just me doing my motivational fun things. So check those out. Um, and if you like these intuitive readings, I do also um, some random messages whenever it comes out. And those can be for any sign, any placement, anywhere. It's just whatever messages are, are needed to come out. And I'm actually going to do one tonight. Um, which you will see is going to be fun after this. So, hey, maybe we'll be there too. Hey, subscribe, like it, give it a thumbs up. And again, um, once I get to 100 subscribers, every 100 subscribers, um, up to 1,000, I will be giving out giveaways. Um, and I will be doing a big announcement on that very soon. So make sure you subscribe and anyone you know subscribes too. Alright, let's get into it. Wow! <laughs> hey, I didn't even ask. Thank you, God. I'm hearing one more. Okay, one more, please. Whoa, I said one, not three. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, perfect. Alright, so the first one. Ah, oh, the universe works fast when I'm having fun. Yes, the universe has my back. The key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. Amen to that one. And I'm here one more. One more for you guys. Oh, I am the loving energy of the universe. Yes, tap into that beautiful loving energy for sure. My fearless freedom lights up the world. Yes, be fearless in your strength and in your balance. So many blessings coming up for you guys. All right. So lovely Leos. This has been your reading. Uh, also, remember to follow what you're passionate about because as I'm looking at the TV, the passion is the song and color of the heart. So again, with love and passion, follow what you're passionate about. Make your dreams a reality. Okay? Depending on what it is, you definitely can. With God, anything's possible, right? Alright, so that's been your reading. Thank you for watching. Bye!